You okay? Todd, you can't just bring me like that. No, what's wrong? Better have a calm one. Nothing serious. I don't matter. It must be serious if you treated yourself to a spot of retail therapy. There's something for you in here. Oh, mm, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Not yet. I think that's my size. <laughs> Come on, what was the row about? No, I just calm one, Alexander. I hate so much having to lie. Yeah, I know. It's hard for me too. Yeah, we are the one who's in danger of being banged up for Her Majesty's pleasure. Well, I could lose you, and that's bad enough. Mm, you're so sweet. It's a bit corny, isn't it? Plus, there is the other thing. What other thing? Well, technically, this is an affair, and therefore steeped in sin. Maybe the rush that brings, this being our secret, no one else knowing, the risk and the danger, maybe that could be its own adrenaline pumping, hormone driven Ooh. reward. Is that so? Well, what I'm saying is, if solar moments are all we got, then hey, I'll take them there. Let's go. Yeah? Mm. As you change, love, thank you very much. Gilly, give us a ten pound stop up, mate. Will do. Cheers. Who owns the laptop? Why do you want to buy it? Do you want to sell it? Hey. I'm a man of simple taste. Pina coladas, getting caught in the rain, that sort of stuff. This modern day technology just weighs me down. Did you know Will got his laptop nicked yesterday? Mm. Is that right? Mm. And it looked remarkably just like that one. <laughs> ah, it can't be this one, mate. <laughs> so where'd you get it? Well, I'm not a bit to say, am I? Fine. But the last time I saw Will, he was on his way to the police station to report his computer as stolen. Right. Did I not mention that bit? Look, OK, I'll do you the deal. Very big of you. Look, I only bought it today. I swear I thought it was legit. So, you give me what I'll pay for it. It's all yours. How much? 100 quid. Gilly, let me suggest an alternative ending. How's about I walk out of here with the laptop whilst you breathe a sigh of relief? Okay, out of pocket, but more importantly, out of jail. How's about that? Thought as much. See ya. All right, all right. Tony. Oh, me in bed? No. No, I, I was just about to get in the shower. We're looking for Jackie. <laughs> Jackie? <laughs> Why would Jackie be here? I mean, that's crazy. Well, she's not in the restaurant and Dom says she's not in at all today. Well, she isn't. In fact, I've not seen Jackie for, well, for days now. But you rang her this morning. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. She told you she was on her way into work. Right. I see her then. So, if you didn't ring her because she was late, why did you ring her then? That's a good question. That's very good. That's right, it was, um, that was about the herring. Herring? It's a little bird. Well, actually, it's a... Anyway, there, there, there was an order, she'd called it in, and I told her not to. So, you've not seen her then? What? Dressed like this? <laughs> we should go. Uh, sorry, Donnie. No problem, and if I see Jackie, I'll be sure to tell her you're looking for her. <laughs> Hang on. What's that? I don't hear anything. Hey, come on, do you mind? This is private. Fifty quid's loads. Not for a laptop. Look, we'll blow it all on you and your birthday. Anything you want, you name it. No designer bag worth having costs less than 100 quid. Yeah, right. Still, my birthday's not till tomorrow. We've got time to make up the rest. Right. I mean, you wouldn't want to disappoint me, would you? Imagine how hurt I'd be on the big day if everything I was looking forward to was a big disappointment. No pressure. <laughs> I better see who that is. I want my money back. Don't know what you're talking about. Rumour has it that laptop was stolen yesterday. Mm, see, I don't remember a laptop. Babe, do you remember a laptop? No, I don't even know what a laptop is. Then maybe we should ask your brother. Because it has been reported stolen. And he might have some sort of clue. Right, what happens to you keeping your gob shot? Well, it'll stay that way if I get my money back. What proof have you got? Well, let me enlighten you with an alternative ending.
Does Zoe get off okay? Yeah, I think so. What are you doing with that? What are the chances? Well, where did you get it? Why? Give me it. What for? No, I'm not gonna ask you again, please. Just give me it. Then get out of my face. Just give me No! Give me what You learnt a valuable lesson. Crime doesn't pay. Good job you were on hand to show them the error of the ways, eh? Hey! Oh, so is this a famous list, is it? Things to do before you die. Uh, before you get married. Same difference. Is this seriously the best you can do? What's wrong with it? <laughs> Mate, it's got half the world's female population on there. Yeah, I'm just being thorough. <laughs> so I can see. But you do realise Lady Penelope's a puppet, right? <laughs> <laughs> Having sex with a variety of different women is a given, right? But you need to start thinking outside the box. Go travel and live abroad for a bit. Yeah, but you don't need speech to do that, though, do you? Yeah, well, let me finish it first. Hey, have any of you guys seen Chris? <sighs> He's probably off getting his cake dry clean. <laughs> Sorry? Ignore him. So what are you guys doing then? Oh, nothing. Russ is just making a list of all the filthy perversions he likes to do before he gets married. Come then, let me have a look. See it, you're on it, love. <laughs> Am I? Uh, he's joking. Seriously though, mate, did you ever think you'd end up getting married this young? No. No, I always thought I'd be older. Living a single life for a few more years, tearing it up, using the views and moving on, but here I am about to stick on Paul and Jay. Still time yet. <laughs> Still young and handsome. Is that right? Well, babe. And how you had the nerve to accuse me of stabbing you in the back? This is different. How? You're cheating on your husband. I knew Tony long before Alec tipped up. It's okay, Carmel. Don't let this upset you. Has this been going on the whole time? Of course not. How long then? A couple of weeks. You're so two-faced. Oh, don't compare this to you and him. I don't give a toss about Alec, but you didn't know that when you decided to brush up on your foreign tongue. That is not the point. You said you could go back to jail. Do you know how much that hurt? How guilty I felt? The thought of you being back inside. What it would do to Mum? And the whole time you were screaming at me, you were carrying on with him. He never even batted an eyelid, not once. Maybe we should all just calm down a little bit, eh? Tony's right. Me and Alec are meant to be. We can't keep sneaking around like this. Ah, oh, we don't have a choice. Unless you want to see him deported. Well, maybe I'll go back to Albania with Alec then. Can't be any worse than prison, can it? Right, give me that back now or I'm phoning the police. Do we? Sack, I'm not kidding. Neither am I. Have you lost the plot? What's Will's password? How am I supposed to know? Well, it's Mum's maiden name or his birthday, and Here's an idea for you. Why don't we ask Will? Look, I found something on you, right, and I'm almost certain Will's behind everything that's going on. You have lost it. I'll prove it to you, but I need the password. Well, it looks as if you're screwed then. Look, give me five minutes and then you can ring who you want. But if I'm right, what if Will did try and hurt Zoe? Come on, Chris, I need your help. Zoe. 
Do you have any idea how much that hurts? Are you trying to tell me something's not going on? Look, Zach and Zoe, 29th of the 4th, 07. This is unreal. 